join us again today. Are you ready for today's story? I am. Let's get started. This month, we are going to learn about love. Love can be shown in many different ways. One of those ways is being selfless. Love can be selfless. Do you know what selfless means? Selfless means that you think about others before yourself. So for example, that might mean that you gave your last cookie to somebody else. Or maybe you gave your favorite toy that you wanted to play with to someone else to play with. So even though you wanted to eat that last cookie for yourself, you gave it to someone else. Maybe your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, a friend, or someone who just wanted that cookie. But you gave that cookie to someone else because you thought about them before yourself. That's selfless. Or when you give someone else your favorite toy to play with because they wanted to play with it even though you wanted to play with it because it's your favorite toy. When you gave that favorite toy or give that favorite toy to someone else to play with, you're thinking about them before yourself. And that's selfless. Today, we're gonna learn a story about a woman named Esther who showed her love by being selfless. Today's story is called A Beautiful Queen. Do you see this picture here? That's a picture of Queen Esther and the king. Queen Esther is the most beautiful lady in the land and the king thinks so too. That's why he married her and he loves her. Let's look at this picture here. This is Haman. He's one of the king's helpers, but he's a bad man because he wants to kill all of the Jewish people. He makes plans to kill them, but he has to trick the king so that the king will let him kill all the Jewish people. The king does not know that Esther is Jewish and Haman does not know that either. So that means that if the king lets Haman's plan to kill all the Jewish people happen, then that means that Esther would have to die too. And all of Esther's people, the Jewish people would have to die too. So what do you think Esther did? Let's look at this picture. One day Esther is brave enough to tell the king that Haman's plans will kill her and then the king is angry because he loves Esther and he doesn't want to let this happen. So, what does he do? Let's look at this picture here. The king punishes Haman. And now Queen Esther is happy because she saved her life, but she also saved her people. In today's story, we learned about Queen Esther and how she told the king about Haman's evil plan to kill the Jewish people. She showed her love to her people by being brave enough to save them. She saved them by telling the king about Haman's evil plan. That's selfless. She was thinking about her people, the Jewish people. And sometimes when we're selfless, that means thinking about others, thinking about people we love, like our family, or thinking of our friends, that's love. So the next time that maybe there's one last cookie in the cookie jar, you can show someone you love them 
by offering that last cookie to them. Or maybe there's a favorite toy of yours that your brother or your sister or a friend wanted to play with, but you decide to love them by giving your favorite toy for them to play with. That's selfless and that's love. That's our story for today. Hi friends, it's Miss Cassie and are you ready for our dance verse? Dance verse, dance verse, dance verse. Okay, this verse comes from the book of Corinthians. Can you say Corinthians? Okay, it's Corinthians chapter, let's pretend we are opening our Bible up to the chapter, chapter 13. So for 13, we're gonna put two hands for the 10, 10. And then we're gonna put three fingers up, ready? 13. Okay, chapter 13, but where's the verse? Let's look for the verse. Verses four through nine. So you're gonna put up your finger for four, then you're gonna put up one hand and four fingers for nine. One hand, four fingers for nine. All right, let's say it together. Corinthians, ready? Chapter 13, verses four through nine. Okay, so let's get ready. This verse is all about love, okay, and what love means. So it starts a little like this. Love is patient, love is kind. So all you're doing is you're taking your hands and you're just putting it kind of on your heart. You're tapping on your heart. And you're saying, love is patient, love is kind. Your turn. Good. All right, the next part is, it does not envy, it does not boast. So all you're gonna do is just shake your finger. All right? It does not envy, it does not boast. Your turn. Okay, the next part is, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others. And as we say it, we're gonna fold our arms like this. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. Your turn. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. All right, let's put it all together. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. <laughs> all right, the next part is gonna be it is not self-seeking. So you're gonna point to yourself. It is not self-seeking. So point a thumb to yourself. It is not self-seeking. Ready, your turn. Very good. Love is patient, love is kind. Doing it from the top. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. Ready? It is not self-seeking. Okay? It is not self-seeking. Okay. Here's the next part. It does not get easily angered. It does not keep a record of wrongs. Okay? So... It does not get easily angered. That's just a thumbs down, ready? It does not get easily angered. Your turn. Yeah, it does not get easily angered. Then it does not keep record of wrongs. So pretend you're writing, okay? So you're not gonna keep remembering things that people do wrong, you're gonna let it go. Does not keep record of wrongs. Does not get easily angered. It does not keep record of wrongs. Let's put it all together. Love is patient, love is kind. 
It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. Ready? It is not self-seeking. It does not envy. Thumbs down. It does not envy. It does not keep a record of wrongs. Does not envy. It does not keep a record of wrongs. Okay? And then we're almost at the last part. We're almost there. And then we're going to do it all again together. So this is not just something Miss Williams did. This also comes um, from a video on YouTube, and we'll talk about that later. So you can also practice that. All right, are you ready for the next parts of the verse? Let's get ready. Ready for the next part? Okay, here's the next part. Love does not delight in evil. For evil, we're just doing the punches. So love does not delight in evil but rejoices in the truth. So when we say truth, it's just Bible hands. But rejoices in the truth. Can you do that? All right. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. So love doesn't get happy about evil things, but it gets happy about things that are about the word of God, which is the truth. All right, and this is the last part, and then we're gonna do it again all together. It always protects, clap, clap. Can you do that? Good. It always protects, clap, clap. It always trusts, clap, clap. Your turn. So it always protects, clap, clap. It always trusts, it always hopes, it always perseveres. Clap, clap. All right, let's do that again. It always protects. Clap, clap. It always trusts. Clap, clap. It always hopes. Clap, clap. It always perseveres. Clap, clap. Yay! Let's put it all together. Love is patient. Love is kind. Your turn. My turn. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. Your turn. My turn. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. Your turn. It is not self-seeking. So when you say that, you have to point to yourself. It is not self-seeking. Your turn. My turn. It is not self-seeking. Okay, here we go. It is not easily angered. Thumbs down. It is not easily angered. It does not record a record of wrongs. Your turn. Good, my turn. It is not easily angered it does not keep a record of wrongs here we go love does not delight in evil gotta get your punching hands up love does not delight in evil but rejoices in the truth your turn good job it always protects, clap, clap. It always trusts, clap, clap. It always hopes, clap, clap. It always perseveres, clap, clap. Yay, that's our song. We just learned 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 9. Until next time, see you later. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed our time together, and we hope that you'll join us next time. We'll see you then. Bye.